Joyce Fassel, Editor-in-Chief of Pro Food World Magazine at PMMI Media Group, here with another Technology Minute. Today, I'm speaking with John Sheehy, Coperion's Global Key Account Manager for the plant-based protein industry, and Sharon Nowak, Global Business Development Manager for Food and Pharmaceuticals. Coperion is an international technology supplier of extrusion systems, feeding technology, bulk material handling systems, processing equipment, and services. Coperion's food and pharma business units design, develop, manufacture, maintain systems, machines, and components for the food, pet food, pharmaceutical, and nutraceutical industries. Coperion has 2,500 employees and nearly 30 sales and service locations worldwide. So John, as an introduction, can you give a bit of a background as to the growth of the plant-based protein global market? And how has Coperion evolved to meet the very specific needs of this market? Yeah, sure. Hi, Joyce. Uh, thanks for inviting us to participate uh, in this technology minute. Uh, as many of your listeners may know, both Coperion and Coperion Catron have a long history of supplying components and the process systems to the food and pet food industries. Um, our global customer base represents 97 of the top 100 food and beverage companies globally. And as many of the retail plant-based protein product manufacturers and ingredient suppliers also know, uh, this market segment is quickly becoming one of the fastest growing segments in the whole food industry as a whole. Whether it is conveying and feeding various nut ingredients to make specialized nut butter or transferring soy protein powders and plant-based milks, to handling and extruding the various pulse proteins used in plant-based meat production. Coperion and Coperion Catron both have extensive experience in both the research and development stages and the scale up to full production lines of these often challenging applications. As a result of this experience, some of our newest product innovations in extrusion technology and material handling are focused on developments within the plant-based food market. Well, one of the most important steps in the conversion of protein powders to texturized vegetable protein, or TVP, and high moisture meat analogs, known as HMMA, is the extruder. How has development of the extruder changed, specifically for the growing sector of the plant-based uh, meat product production? Well, Joyce, as John stated earlier, plant protein system suppliers that can provide key design features which focus on efficiency, material handling, and cleanability, as well as provide in-depth operational support will give the best returns on investment. When deciding on the end product, it's important to also evaluate hybrid extruder designs, which can produce both meat substitutes via texturized protein, as well as high moisture plant-based products. Coperion ZSK food extruder actually includes an innovative hybrid solution for manufacturing meat substitute products. Coperion's special VGS centric pelletizer is attached to the process section for manufacturing TVP in order to cut the product directly at the nozzle plate. As an alternative, HMMA is discharged using a specialized cooling die which produces a product strand that exhibits a texture closely resembling that of genuine meat. Using an adaptive solution developed by Comperion, the extruder's discharge can now be switched from the pelletizer to a cooling die in absolutely no time. The same principle functions work just as quickly in reverse when switching from an HMMA process to a TVP one. By providing options in design which produce both product types, Manufacturers of plant protein meat substitutes are given maximum flexibility to be able to profitably react to changing market demands, even on a short notice. In addition to the advantages of increased flexibility, Coperion's line of extruders have an extremely high power to volume ratio. This gives extruded product manufacturers the highest capacities for a given machine footprint size. So Sharon and John, can you both advise in more detail what some of the challenges in processing a variety of plant proteins might be, um, specifically when providing material handling equipment for plant-based protein manufacture? Sure, Joyce. Uh, one of the factors which is consistently changing in the plant-based food industry is the use of newer or novel proteins. Um, traditionally, you've seen a lot of soy, a lot of, a lot of pea. But there's a great variety of additional plant proteins which are currently being investigated for use in a wide range of products. 
These there include, but not limited to, other pulse proteins such as lentil, fafa, canola, chickpea, mung bean, etc., but as well as goji berries and even mushrooms and other fungi. The versatility of the equipment to handle all of these different powders is crucial. For example, the loss in weight feeders by comparing Catron include a variety of options to handle different materials with all the same piece of equipment. As stated previously, it is also important to work with the end manufacturers who not only know the overall plant protein processes, but are also knowledgeable in exactly how to handle the varied ingredients that are utilized in these processes. Coferian's capability to provide the complete system solution, feeding, conveying, and extrusion also gives manufacturers of plant protein products the optimal efficiency upon relying on just one sole supplier. That is very true, John, because plant-based protein ingredients can range widely in material handling characteristics, from very free-flowing to very difficult and cohesive. When handling these on an automated production scale for both packaging operations or for extrusion-based products, it's important to optimize the equipment to make the process as efficient as possible, especially if multiple sources of ingredients are being used on the same line. For example, many plant-based protein powders are actually produced using a spray drying process. The ZRD rotary valves produced by Coperion are specially designed for sanitary food applications where contamination is a concern and frequent disassembly and cleaning is required. The ZRD hygienic rotary valve includes a full access extraction system and a large inlet for high filling efficiency. Without removing the valve from the system, the ZRD hygienic can be easily disassembled, cleaned, and reassembled. The full access extraction system also fully supports the rotor as it's removed for cleaning, making it an ideal method for facilitating end plate and rotor removal. In addition, one of the key benefits of the complete line of Coperion feeding and material handling equipment has always been to handle difficult flowing materials, such as sticky or cohesive plant-based powders, such as pea or soy protein, as John just mentioned, and also to handle subsequent blends with difficult flowing flavors and additives. These materials are often best handled by a twin screw feeder with hopper agitation, such as Coperion Catron's ActiFlow. ActiFlow specifically addresses and enhances continuous flow in the Coperion Catron loss and weight feeder. Coperion also has a variety of system and component options which are designed to address poor flowing products. A perfect example of this is the new Smart Glide Finishing or SGF anti-stick surface treatment for our rotary valves, which actually prevents sticking and glazing of difficult ingredients directly to the valve surfaces. So what are some other key process details that plant-based protein manufacturers need to be aware of? And what additional features has Coperion engineered into their equipment and system designs to address these requirements? One of the most important factors in processing plant proteins that is often overlooked is the high percentage of powder handling required in plant protein operations. Since many of these ingredient powders are organic, there's also a higher safety risk for the presence of combustible dust. MIE, or the minimum energy required to ignite, can also change significantly when dealing with the same material but smaller powder particle sizes. It's important when designing a system for the transfer of these powders, whether from the spray dryer to the packaging line or from the bulk bags to the feeders above a mixer end or an extruder, that the systems provider outlines all the possible design parameters to assure a safe operation. Proper attention must be paid to how the system is to be cleaned and maintained. It is important when designing the overall functions of the equipment that key attention be paid to making sure that the process equipment design not only adhere to the FDA Food Safety Modernization Act or FSMA standards and also CGMP manufacturing guidelines, but also that the final layout of the system includes as much versatility and ability to do quick product changeovers as possible. In addition to some of the items listed before, the design engineers of Coperin are constantly innovating equipment options to address just these food safety concerns. For example, our newest feature for the rotary valves, the RotorCheck 5.0, is the ideal technology to register, evaluate, and report unwanted contact between the rotor and the housing in order to prevent metallic abrasion 
and thus potential contamination of the product being conveyed or transferred. The redeveloped control system provides advanced options for event diagnosis and communication to host systems. Well, on a final note, many new smaller startup companies are looking for ways to get into this very fast developing market. In what ways is Coperion helping these startup companies and how do you assist them technically? Coperion has entered into a number of partnerships with global organizations such as food tech incubators in various countries, the Good Food Institute, Bridge to Food, and ProVeg, all in order to provide additional technical support to end developers. In addition, Coperion has several global test centers which focus on the areas of development and testing of feeding, conveying, and extrusion of a wide variety of even the most difficult ingredients and materials. It is this ability not only to extensively test a variety of material characteristics and properties, but also discuss technical design options for optimal process quality and safety, which have really helped Coperion and Coperion Catron to truly stand out as a premium food equipment and system supplier. Finally, we currently have partnerships with several universities, which include our equipment, and we can offer locations for the development of plant-based products within GMP environments. We are constantly looking to build new industry relationships with others in this space to assist our clients' needs. Well, I'd like to thank Sharon Nowak and John Sheehy for joining us today for this Technology Minute from Pro Food World.